أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم There can be no real faith without the understanding of the world of light. People are getting lost in words and saying there is no such thing as meditation because they're thinking this is something from a, a different culture, something to do with holding a tree, something Allah knows what they're thinking. This is about stopping and from Holy Qur'an, none know but the people of tafakkur. That to stop and to contemplate and to realize there's a light within the heart, how to bring that light out, bring that reality out and to operate from the soul. It is a spiritual channel in which to open up this line of communication that is necessary for the perfection of one's faith. We've said many times there's a hearing, there's a seeing, there's five senses that people are using of the physical but those senses each have a matching spiritual. When Allah says, you have ears but you don't hear. Is he talking about deaf people and, and, and mocking handicapped things? Suffer. He's not saying that, he's saying the ones whom, who, who physically can hear and their ears are actually healthy, you really can't hear. And they have eyes but they don't see. It's not the mocking of blind people, it's obvious blind people don't see. But he says those whom are visually seeing you don't see. So there's something that we should be hearing and we don't hear it. There's definitely something we should be seeing and we don't see it. And as a result of not hearing it, not seeing it, Allah says your heart is now like a sheet has been covering it. And that's why when we go to the Kaaba there's a khiswa the top of the Kaaba because your heart is actually the Kaaba, Allah is showing you a reality outside of you before inside of you. As for me to understand this reality within me, Allah says, that's harder. So why you don't go look and you go for Umrah and you say, oh, this is my heart and I should be circumambulating my heart. I should be saying, la baik, la baik to my heart that I'm here, I'm coming to hear, I'm, I'm coming to, to listen to this command because your house is in my heart. It was all a symbolism of what we should have been understanding within myself. The, everyone comes with this love and then circumambulates with this love and Allah was just saying, that I can be inside your heart. Or not only you have to get this ticket and come all this distance but your heart can be my house and your heart can be my Kaaba. And if your heart becomes my Kaaba you become like a Qibla, people will find faith around you. They'll be all around you because of that love, because of that light, because of that nourishment that is now appearing within your reality. So everything was based on the tafakkur, how am I going to hear and what does Allah want me to hear? The ears being the first and this is the chain that when the ears hear they begin to teach you spiritually that are you really hearing the guidance? Are you sitting in this association online or in the presence for years but yet you really don't know anything from their teaching? For five years, ten years, three years you didn't hear that? So then you're one of those whom you had ears but you didn't hear. 
So you're assuming everyone is hearing these talks and understanding them or many just come for the good food and maybe entertainment value. So that's what Allah is saying, you have ears but you're not really hearing, are you hearing what's taking place? And you have eyes but you don't yet see. So what are your eyes coming to look for? Are your eyes under the allurement for like eye candy? It wants everything that is flattering and nice to the eyes and maybe there's a spiritual eye in which should be opening. Welcome to Century 21 AAA Realty. We specialize in commercial and residential properties including all your financing needs. We are one stop shop under one roof. Owning a home is a keystone of wealth, both financial and emotional. Don't wait for opportunity, create it. Come meet our award-winning realtors with over 40 years of experience. Call Century 21 Triple A Realty. Eastern cultures use teas and herbs as an elixir of health and wellness. Rumi Rose Teas revives this ancient tradition with a collection of over 40 delicious hand-blended teas. Enjoy God-given health and wellness within every cup of Rumi Rose Tea. Order online now. should be sitting and making a tafakkur and contemplating and when I sit to, to learn my contemplation I'm asking Ya Rabbi that I have ears but yet I don't hear. And they come and teach the first level of hearing is hear your consciousness. Hear yourself talking to you, Allah will push your real reality uh, that's in the heavens to come and talk to you and begin to tell you. And anything that you're hearing, if it's telling you bad about something and about someone, that's the shaitan whispering to you. When your shaitan comes, he complains about everyone, oh this shaykh was wrong, these people were wrong, that place was wrong, though they wronged you. Anything like that, that comes to make your ego feel happy. It's a waswas of a shaitan, if shaitan's not coming then it's from the bad jinn that can access and come close. Anything come to that ear that to glorify my status is not from Rahman. So they say, exactly what am I hearing shaykh, how do I know what I'm hearing? If it come and tell you to knock yourself down that you're nothing, you're no one, you are wrong. Take a path of humility, lower yourself, go now and do your prayers, go do ibadah, go do worship, go give a donation, go feed some people, that's from the soul. So then that's the hearing. We took a life in which to hear, hear and when you're going to need it is that when you accompany a shaykh you're going to start to be tested. When you close your eyes, are you connecting with your soul? Are you connecting with that light? Are you trying to get all the information necessary for your life and then people will begin to appear within your life. Don't think that everything coming your way is a gift from Allah Don't presume everything that glitters is gold. 
You don't know who's coming into your life, who greets you, who talks to you, to harm you, to do whatever is the test that's coming. It's not that everything is great that coming to me, oh because I have a shaykh, no. We don't understand what's coming, Allah wants to send a test. Send somebody who's about to empty your account, take money from you. The shaykh is not there to assist you in cheating on your test from Allah No, No shaykh should be giving you an answer, he should be giving you the tools to make the right choice. It's not about cheating Allah's tests. Oh shaykh tell me, when is the next problem coming? Is this person going to be a problem in my life? If it's real shaykh has said no, hands crossed. Maybe yes, maybe no, you shouldn't have been asking me. I'm not here to help you cheat. If the person coming to kill you, yes, they'll intervene because your life is in, at risk. It means severe emergency, they will intercede inshaAllah with Allah's assistance and permission. But we're not talking about that, we're talking of the day-to-day -day activity of nefarious characters in this wonderful play Allah has set up. Like a Shakespearean play. Somebody's coming with a dagger, somebody coming with a story, somebody coming with a book. And then I think I have a shaykh and he's going to help me cheat through the whole game. So no, the shaykh is not there to answer any question. He's there to teach, why aren't you sitting and listening and meditating? If you begin to open your hearing, you'll hear us talking to you. You'll hear us inspiring you. You'll hear us warning you. And they want to open a channel of communication at an encrypted level. Knowledge, quality. Integrity. Star cares about your best interests and have a wealth of experience to match. We've been in the business 30 years and are here to lead you every step of the way. Whether it's building the custom home of your dreams, doing gorgeous home renovations, building a laneway home, or revamping your commercial space. The star process works. Just ask our hundreds of satisfied customers. We have several properties and the best thing about Star for Life Services is that the work is done in a very timely manner and we're always very pleased with the result. Star, let's make your dreams happen. Call us now to book your free consultation. Are you ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular situation or which prayer to make for an event or need? The search is over. We bring to you through the Muhammadan Way app, an all-encompassing Islamic guide. A platform where you can find all the surahs from Holy Quran, special du'as and prayers, as well as live zikrs and comprehensive Islamic teachings from world-renowned scholars. Download this powerful app now and keep up to date with in-app notifications. 
available for download on iOS and Android. Now, if you want encrypted messages, you use WhatsApp. The real Yahoo is that they meditate and contemplate and all the encrypted messages that Allah want to inspire within the heart will begin to come. If you condition your eyes and your hearing means you connect with them, you'll ask the question that, who's this person appearing to me? What is it that this person is going to want? Means then when you live a life of that reality, your hearing and your seeing is your protection. Whenever the person that is coming into that scene, you have a sense within your heart what this person is entering into my play for. Are they coming to harm me? Are they coming to trick me? Are they, are they coming with not the, a pure intention into my life? So that's what Allah are trying to build. Let's send all these different types of things in life and why is it that you're not using your spiritual connection when you are enrolled in a spiritual school? Why aren't you using your hearing to hear with your soul that, oh this, this I'm getting a vibe from this person is not coming straight up, coming with a different code to, to test us. But if you're too wrapped in dunya, you're no longer using your spiritual senses and you're not catching all of these signals. And that's where the danger in your test is showing. Why didn't you pick that up? Why didn't your hearing pick it up? Why didn't your spiritual seeing pick it up? Why aren't you sort of continuously having your radar out? But as soon as somebody says hello, your radar is picking up a channel and with the, the madad of the shaykhs, you'll be surprised that even with your connection, truth serums will be coming. Because again, people don't understand when the shaykhs come with the light of truth, they merely, their heart opens, the light comes out and everybody begin to speak all sorts of badness that hiding within their heart. And anyone who's traveled with the shaykhs understands, they stand next to somebody, somebody comes and approaches and begin to say all sorts of things that they thought would be hidden within themselves. Because you can't hide the truth in front of them. The real reality of the person begins to come out. Because when the truth comes, the falsehood, they don't come together. And Allah described that the falsehood by its nature is perishing. It means all of these faculties are not just a, a part-time hobby, it's a way in which to live especially upon an earth that becoming more and more difficult, where more and more of these characters are entering daily into my play. And if I'm not listening with my heart and I'm not listening with my eyes, I don't know who's coming to harm me, to trick me, to fool me. And all of that coming by permission of Allah because why you're not using your senses, why you're not using the faculties of your tafakkur and your contemplation. We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding that this is not something small, it's a way in which to survive difficulties that are coming upon the earth and a way in which to always make the most correct choice. Because you're sitting and you're contemplating, not just heedlessly entering into every action.
if you hear their warning and you continuously deny the warning then difficulty is coming. So not that I can say I'm ignorant I didn't know, no Allah just says, no you're trained one. See the reality of taqwa is not somebody saying they fear Allah If their ears and their eyes are not open is as if they're behind 70 feet of meadow. There's no taqwa for somebody who has no opening on their abilities. They don't fear anything, they don't see anything, they don't hear anything. What Allah describing of a real taqwa is when Allah open their senses. They hear, they see, they feel. They know if they do something wrong and grossly incorrect, Prophet seals everything. It's finished, the, like a like a metal part that comes and they're locked off. They don't hear, they don't see, they don't feel. To them that is a punishment greater than death. That's taqwa. Because of the opening they don't risk that reality, they don't risk that association and that nearness. So it means then that is the way and the door to taqwa and God consciousness. Is that to open the realities then you become more conscious of the reality and you become more frightened that I'm going to lose what God has opened for me now. And they become more conscious, more conscious, inshaAllah. Hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basir al-Sur al
change. 